An Arizona school has responded to uh, a number of female students who wore shirts that spelled out a racial slur. Nigger. 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 So let me give you the details about this. It's regarding six Arizona, Arizona high school students and the Desert Vista high school students wearing the shirts for a larger group photo in which all the shirts spelled out best you've ever seen class of 2016. But the girls posed for another photo in a smaller group spelling out the slur. Okay, so we're going to show you the picture in just a second. The six girls were rumored to be suspended for five days. Um, however, the superintendent chimed in and said, no, that's not true. We didn't suspend them for five days, but we're not going to tell you what the punishment is um, because it's none of your business. I'm very curious to see what happens to these students um, because it's none of your business. Um, because it's none of your business. So um, uh, the shirt spelled out the N word. The N -word. Yeah, you can see it. And so now they, instead of the G's, they have asterisks there. So uh, what I found interesting about that is there are no asterisks in best you've ever seen class of 2016. Um, there's no asterisks in the word nigger either. Slow news day, guys. Yeah. Just latching on to any story you can put your shitty progressive pretend outrage spin on. Yeah. Anna, I've been meaning to ask, do you think there's ever a chance that a bear like me and a bitch like you could ever, you know, do shit? Yeah. Woohoo! So it wasn't like, they're like, oh my God, that's so funny. The letters we have in this could also spell that out. So if it was impromptu, Chunk, are you saying that it would have been totally fine? What if it was impromptu and they actually had a couple of G t-shirts handy instead of asterisk ones? So people are calling for, a, you know, uh, not just suspensions. They think if it's five days, it's way too little. Expulsions. Well, they want the, the principal to be fired. Well, that's pretty fucking ridiculous, isn't it? It's a word for fuck's sake. So I, I'm, I'm fascinated by both sides of this. First off, I can't believe that in the year 2015... <laughs> it's 2016, chunk. Fucking hell. The most progressive cunt on the internet still working in last year. And when I'm constantly surprised by this, that there are whole communities where they think, like, oh, that's funny. Yeah. Look, the N-word. Nigger. Ha ha, there's no black people around. And so these young white girls get together and they spell out the N word. Nigger. And they think, ah, well, <laughs> not dude. with an A, with an ER. Listen to Chunk, girls. He's a smart dude. Next time, spell it with an A instead of an ER. Okay, I'm going to say something funny, but I play basketball. So, on the one hand, I want to tell people sometimes high school kids do stupid shit, suspend them, hopefully, but then talk to them. Like, have a conversation. Do you get. Apparently you don't get it, right? So do you get that this is really offensive to some people? It's a fucking word chunk. And anyway, they put two asterisks in the middle of it. If that's oppressive, then surely you saying the N-word is oppressive too. Look, the N-word, look, the N-word, look, the N-word. It's amazing to me that they thought it was a good idea to take a picture. You know, to take a picture and have it floating around the internet. Yeah. yeah. If you had a spelt it with an A and not taken a photo and put it on the internet, it would have been fine. Because it's obvious from their actions that they, they, they don't understand other people's perspective. Because Anna, as Anna pointed out, not only did they do all this, they took a picture and put it up. So they must have thought it's the most hunky-dory thing they've ever done in their life. Yeah, I'll bet that's exactly what they thought. This is the most hunky-dory thing we've ever done in our lives. Well, I've got to say, guys, this is a pretty piss-weak story. Like, the most watched online news show just gave us an explosive scoop on how some schoolgirls said a naughty word with their t-shirts. Lame. And I can't believe Bearing pussied out of saying nigger. What a homo.